Hello everyone, welcome to my channel if you're new here, or welcome back to my channel uh, if you've been watching my videos. Um, so, obviously I was wrong about something happening, although technically um, she did make an announcement. It was just uh, for the Evermore uh, vinyl that was coming out. Um, but speaking of the Evermore vinyl, uh, we all saw the pictures that she posted of it, uh, of her with the vinyl, and uh, it got a lot of people talking because it looked kind of like there was uh, some sort of Easter eggs in it. Uh, first of all, um, I'm going to put the picture up right now. People were saying that um, in the grass that's behind her, kind of looked like um, there was an eight and nine like indented into the grass and to be honest I see that uh, I think it's possible maybe she did that as an easter egg but it could have just been like the way that the grass was and not something that she had done herself and then um, a lot of people were saying that uh, the filters from both photos um, looked like the, like the filters that she used on the 1989 uh, photographs um, and yeah it does look similar but uh, one of the bigger things was that um, they thought that it kind of reminded them of red because she's laying in the grass I'm going to put the second picture up now um, to sort of explain what's happening um, was also why people think it's alluding to red. Notice that pose that she's laying in. It looks very similar to um, a pose that she did um, for like the red album. It was part of the red photo shoot. So people were like, oh, this means that red is going to be coming because She's laying in the opposite direction. Uh, hold on, I'm going to put up the red photograph. Notice how in the red photograph, um, she's also laying in the grass and she has uh, her hands under her head in the exact same position. But also notice the fact that um, in the red photograph, uh, she's leaning her head to the left, and in the newer photograph for the Evermore vinyl, she's leaning her head to the right. And so, um, people also thought that might be a hint towards uh, Red Taylor's version coming, because, um, obviously for Fearless, um, she was like, her head was pointing in one direction, and then uh, in Fearless Taylor's version, it was pointing in the opposite direction, so it kind of makes sense um, that it might be a photo for Red Taylor's version, possibly, but except without the Evermore vinyl on it. Um, and so, lately, we've been getting um, a lot of Easter eggs for Speak Now Taylor's version, 1989 Taylor's version and Red Taylor's version uh, and so everyone's confused about what's going to happen uh, like a lot of the signs have been 1989 Taylor's version and then Speak Now has the second most and then Red has like the least amount of easter eggs for it but um, some people are starting to assume that uh, Maybe she's going to drop more than one at once. Uh, and in that situation, um, we aren't ready for that. Like, we could barely handle Fearless Taylor's version. Think about if um, Red Taylor's version, uh, Speak, Speak Now Taylor's version, and 1989 Taylor's version all came out at once. Oof. Yeah. Uh, we would have a breakdown and we would go crazy like 
and think about uh, all those songs and then the possible vault songs from them and everything, that would be a lot. But uh, Taylor pr might actually do that. She's uh, a pretty uh, surprising person. And I think the biggest surprise of all is for her to be like making all these Easter eggs uh, for the three albums and making us trying to theorize uh, which one is coming next out of the three. And then um, instead of doing that, uh, she drops all three because uh, she wants to surprise us and she wants us to go crazy because Taylor loves when we go crazy. <laughs> and then she knows that we'll start theorizing about other things. <laughs> I actually saw this funny meme where there was this like wave coming in and it was like coming towards Taylor. They're like, uh, Taylor say something before people start theorizing they're remaking Miss Americana. <laughs> and if that's not the funniest thing, I don't know what is. Um, so yeah, I think there's a high possibility that she could be releasing, uh, Speak Now Taylor's version, 1989 Taylor's version, and Red Taylor's version all at once. Just because, uh, I think she would want to do that. She seems like the type who would want to do that. Um, and then it, even though it would be a lot and... Uh, we weren't ready for that, most definitely. I think it could be interesting. Because um, then we have all that content all at once. Uh, instead of just getting, like, a small amount of content. Um, but I do think that she really will um, announce the dates or a single or something really soon. Because uh, it's been, like a month uh all over a month now almost two months since fearless taylor's version came out and i feel like she's trying to get um all of her re-recordings out before the end of the year uh so that she can like move on to other stuff and she just wants to own her masters back so uh i feel like she'd want to do that as quick as possible so I do think um, at least the first five are coming uh, before the end of the year. But I really think something is coming in June. Um, so she should be announcing something really soon. Uh, probably within the next week or two. Uh, oh, and then also her posts uh, on Instagram are perfectly aligned right now. What else would make it perfectly aligned? If she did three separate posts announcing uh, Red Taylor's version in one, 1989 Taylor's version in another one, and then Speak Now Taylor's version in a different post, they would uh, her feed would be perfectly aligned again because that's three more posts and three posts make it aligned. So it makes sense. Uh, plus that spirit movie is coming out uh, and, uh, I'm not sure if it was just the trailer, but the move, the actual movie could have, uh, Wildest Dreams Taylor's version in it. So, it would kind of make sense that she dropped something really soon. Uh, I feel like she has at least all of them completed. Uh, but I could be wrong about that. Uh, so, get ready everyone. This is going to be an exciting journey. Who knows what's coming next.